Hi, this is Miguel from Ozone Engineering and in this video I'll be going over how to model welds in ANSYS Mechanical. We're going to start with uh, looking at geometry and this showcases some of the capabilities of modeling seam welds in specifically. Uh, for seam welds we're going to turn all of the parts into shells. The seam weld simulation in ANSYS Mechanical is based off the Volvo Char Chalmer method. This uh, can integrate integrate with ENCODE to help you understand the fatigue and durability of your wells. Let's first uh, split this part in two. So we're going to go do a um, design split body by this face. Then we're going to mid surface automatically. And now we have a little gap between it. So we're going to weld this plate down to the bottom here as well as this flat plate onto the bottom. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to start with a static structural analysis. Okay. The, um, uh, the, the weld uh, modeling options are on your meshing. Uh, there are some weld options here. Uh, first thing we want to do is turn off adaptive, which is already turned off here. So if this is set to yes, we need to make sure this is set to no. Then we want to start adding some welds. So we'll, we'll do one first. Um, we're going to do a continuous seam weld. You have the option of doing intermittent, intermittent seam weld as well. Uh, we're going to create this using edges and I'm going to select this edge. Go ahead and generate a mesh and see what it looks like. Right, so we didn't create this because there's another control we have to turn on. Bash connection it needs to be yes. And we can leave all the rest of it uh, as default. And what this means is that it's going to try to connect it afterwards. There are a number of options inside of the weld. So for example, uh, one of the things we want to be careful about is the heat affected zone distance and this heat affected zone is, is when you weld it how much does uh, is the heat affected zone so we're gonna 33 is fairly large so we're gonna change this to probably let's say five millimeters uh, we can also the, the weld here actually if I turn it over here the weld probably spans an angle like this so what we can do is uh, we can adjust the, the height of the weld. So you can adjust the height on either side of the weld. There's a um, adjust height, there's a, the, the two legs. So maybe we do 2.5 on one side and five millimeters on the other side. Oh, and uh, let, let's adjust the edge to 20, something like that. Okay, you can see that we've generated a, a mesh. Uh, right now, this is a, a a normal well, so it just goes down here. You can see there's two and a half millimeters up here, and there's five millimeters down. Uh, what we can also do to adjust this weld is instead of the normal weld, we can do uh, normal and angled and we can uh, select the, the angle direction to both. Uh, we can also select the material so the, uh, right now I'm, I'm just going to pick structural steel but we can pick other material if needed. All right, so this shows you the, the shape of the weld that we're going to generate and this is all done automatically so now we can do an analysis based on this model. We can increase the number of elements in the heat affected zone as well. So you can, uh, right now, uh, the heat number of heat uh, affected zone is just one. So I'm going to bump it up to two. And you can take a look at 
now there's two layers of heat effective zone coming off of the weld. So depending on the accuracy you want, you can see the mesh is very careful here. Okay, now let's uh, add the weld into, for this plate, I'm going to select this one side and insert a weld. And uh, we'll do a normal and angled weld. And here, um, do a heat effective zone of five millimeters and we can adjust the, right now the criteria is width based. We can also do angle based and this allows us to do a maybe a 60 degree weld. Okay, the mesh doesn't look all that great. So let's uh, we can also instead of a uh, Instead of using edges, we can use edges in face. So this is the bottom surface, and then this is the top surface. Hmm. Try 45 degree. Okay, there you go. So a 45 degree weld seems to work okay, and we can do a similar thing on the on this side. I can just duplicate this and uh, pick this edge. Okay. Now uh, let's add in some supports. Uh, let's let's uh, put a fixed support here too, and let's put a force upwards in the y-axis. Oh, we have a few parts that we didn't assign material for, so these should be well put properties. But I just went ahead with uh, structural steel here. Now uh, in the encode tools that we have some weld material information for fatigue as well as the stiffness property so we can use that if you have the encode package take a look at the deformation take a look at the stress We can see where the high stress regions are. And uh, now we can do a fatigue analysis. So let's go back to Workbench and let's put in a uh, encode, uh, the built in encode fatigue calculation. Let's see, I think it's an ACT extension right now. Mechanical embedded. I think this is a mechanical embedded uh, encode. Okay, I once I installed the encode embedded design life, I had to start it up again, and uh, now I see the encode design mechanically embedded design life option. So let's go ahead and get it connected and take a look at um, the setup for the. Uh, for the weld fatigue calculations. So we can do shell seam weld analysis, load mapper, Okay, I want a constant amplitude. So I had to do the static structural. And I think what the message is saying here 
is that we must solve the structural with nodal forces turn on so let's go back here output turn nodal forces to on and now let's uh, clearly generate the data uh, the other thing I adjusted was uh, in the welds Uh, we want to generate name selection. So it, it's creating name selections when we run the simulation with each of the wells defined, the weld elements. Let's go ahead and run the solve. Okay, it's done. Okay, it's running the simulation now. And it's completed, so we can look at life. So there's plenty of life here, over a million. Now we're going to adjust our maximum factor. I increase by 100 times. So now we see that the failure point as we expect is here on either corner. It's showing us the heat affected zone of the weld and what the durability is at each location. So this shows you um, the ability in ESSIS to create different types of seam weld geometry. Uh, it's highly automated for shell models so the, the geometry can be created in during the meshing process itself we have a variety of controls for the angle as well as the distribution of the welds we can look at structural analysis and use uh, sp specific weld patterns to capture the, the the stiffness and the connection between the different parts look at the stress and we can also uh, evaluate uh, a design life a, uh, a weld a specific seam shell seam weld analysis and look at the life of the, our weld so that's a quick overview of how to set up welds in Ansys Mechanical and uh, thank you for your interest in this video if you're if you like videos like this please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, you can also reach us at info at thank you and have a good day bye bye